Hello everyone, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Welcome to your 12 minute side lying glute series. We're going to begin with a parallel clamp. So coming onto your left side for me, stacking your hips and shoulders, and then finding long length through the side waist. Inhaling to prepare and exhale. Let's wave that top leg up and then tap it lightly to the bottom leg again. So only opening up as far as you can without rocking through your hips. We wanna find that neutral and stay there. Exhaling up, inhale lower. We have 45 seconds for each exercise. There is a 15 second rest between each one. Five seconds left, three, two, and one. Rest that leg down. Taking a quick little second here, seeing what's up next. It's a big circle through that top leg only. So think of a pen being on your knee. We're gonna draw a big circle up and around. Ready, and exhale up, inhale around. Again, trying to keep those hips still. Scooping through those abs just a little to support that pelvic position. And then again, only taking the knee up and around as big as you can to control the hips. We are going to hit all angles of the glute here. So really enjoy opening up through the hip and toning through the glutes in multiple angles. Nice, so you've got 10 more seconds. Okay, give me one more, really big one, and then resting the knee down. From here, move your heels slightly back, extending now the top leg. From here, we bend the knee into 90 degrees, extending the leg all the way long in line with your hip. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press out through your heel. And then again, reaching your heel back in line with your hip. So we are opening up through the front hip line so we can get that extension through the hip and hit those glutes. Slowly control that knee into 90 degrees, your knee and toe points forward, and then you can flex that foot as you lead with the heel. Really find that squeeze through your hamstrings into your glute. Relaxing that bottom leg, you've only got 10 more seconds. Good, resting here. If you are looking for a little more, you can continue that bent knee press during your rest period. So moving into, in five seconds, a straight leg lift. Both legs will be straight and slightly forward of your body. Let's begin, waving that leg up, Inhale, gently tap the foot back down, lifting it back up. Keep control of your hips here. You'll feel those obliques a little bit more. Last two here, squeezing their legs back together and then continue if you are looking for a little bit more or take that rest period. We are moving into a double leg lift and lower. So come onto your left outstretched arm, finding a long line from your head to your toes. Go ahead and exhale, lift both legs up together as if you've got one leg. And then we gently lower the legs back down Nice and controlled. Exhale up, inhale slowly lower. Feeling the pinch now through that top right waist. Think of your inner seam of your legs zipping up all the way from your heel to your pubic bone. So adductors working and obliques. Just a couple more. 
Last one here. Resting the legs down, propping yourself up onto your left elbow, keeping the left knee down. But extend that top right leg for me and keep it long and stretched up. We move into a little twist, tapping your elbow down towards the floor, lifting it up to the sky and then a little leg lift. So leg is long, we then tap the elbow down towards your mat, open it back up to the sky with that top leg. We wave it up and down to parallel. Keep going, taking that beautiful twist and open and leg lift. If you're feeling particularly tight through that thoracic spine, your elbow might not touch the floor and that is so fine. Just taking a really big swivel through those ribs, aiming towards the floor. And last one, well done guys. We are taking it to the second side. So go ahead and lay on your right side now. You can be up onto your hand or extended arm. Moving into that parallel clam in two, in one. Exhale up, inhale down. Remember those hips need to be stacked. We have long length through the sideways and it's really gentle as you print that leg back down to the bottom leg and then we lift it back up. So you should feel that side glute there. Pop your hand there if you need a bit more feedback for yourself. Time to even things up. Let's work with the same control as we did on the other side. One more clam and rest. We are taking those big circles now. So your knee's gonna go away from you first, up to the sky and in towards your chest in a clockwise direction. Let's do it, big circles, controlled. Breathing out as you lift up, inhale, circle around. Last circle and placing the knee down. From here, just shifting your heels back in line with your hips, extending that top leg long, as long as you can, bent knee press, bending, extending just that top leg. So you wanna keep that bottom leg nice and relaxed. Let's go, inhale in, exhale out. Remember to flex through the foot, really reach out through your heel as if someone is pulling on your leg and reaching it so far out of your hip and we're creating space we are squeezing that glute as the leg sweeps back behind keeping control of the hips as you sweep the knee in Nice, option to keep going if you do want a little bit more here. And then just meet me laying down onto your right side, both legs extended in five seconds. I'm gonna wave that top leg up and lower. Let's begin, wave it up. Exhale, zipping up those inner thighs. Let them really snap together. Avoid collapsing through your waist. So think of those long lines, top and bottom waist. Belly button pulling back towards your spine a little. You've got it, 20 seconds now.
Nice work. Keep going or take your rest. We'll meet with both legs squeezed together, lifting them both up in one motion and lowering them back down. And one, exhale up. Inhale, gently lowering those legs down. So you can move a little quicker on the way up. Do take your time on the way down. Feeling the pinch through that top waist. Last one, and set up on your right elbow, keeping the bottom leg down, extending the top leg up in line with your hip. We'll take that left elbow up to the sky, wrapping it down to the floor, back up, leg lift. Let's go, keeping the hips up, we wrap the elbow, tap, one leg lift. So with that long leg, we are working that top glute but that bottom knee is pressing down into your mat and that glute is working double time. This is your last one here. Try and stay up high. There's only 12 seconds to go. One, you made it guys. That was your 12 minute side laying glute series, all done. Let me know what your favorite variation was in the comment section below and I will chat to you there. My name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. This truly does support me. Have a beautiful day and I will see you in our next workout together really soon.